Hello, this is Pete Finnegan from PeteFinnegan.com Limited. Uh, today I want to talk about our two-day training class, How to Perform a Security Audit of an Oracle Database. This class has been very uh, popular over the years and I've taught it many, many times. This class is aimed at getting people to understand how data held in an Oracle Database is processed, uh, how it's handled, how it's managed, how it's secured, and effectively how you secure the database or you secure the data that is held within the database. There are two general uh, attacks against the database. Simply, if somebody wants to attack the database to use it as a platform to attack any other system in the network, or they want to simply steal the data. This class takes people from cradle to grave of how to go about looking at securing all the databases in your organization. So we start off in lesson one with the background information. How does Oracle work? How does data get from an end user operating a screen to the database, what happens in between, where does the data go, how does it flow, therefore what do we need to consider to secure that data. We also talk about hacking, how people might hack a database, some very simple things, some obvious things and obviously some classical things that you would consider as a hack. We then talk about background information, where to get more detail, what does the security audit mean, what does it mean to secure your Oracle database, how should you proceed, we talk about designing and developing a security policy, uh, testing for compliance against that policy, and we talk about tools. Which tools can you use? Where can you get them from? What's suitable for an audit? What's not suitable for an audit? We then go on to plan a database security audit, and part of the class is practical demonstrations. I do about 50 demos over the two days using lots of free tools that I give away to the students. There is a download with about 130 scripts in it that I've written over many many years there's tens of thousands of lines of code there and we demonstrate most of these tools uh, throughout the class um, so we talk about how to perform an audit um, we focus on auditing a single database in a detailed way and we use this information to feed into the development of a security policy so that you can define what a secure database looks like for your organization and then take that away and implement that and then test com for compliance against that against all your databases. So part of the class is to actually do a sample audit. So we walk through a complete audit that I would do for customers, obviously not with all of the detail that you would do in a real audit because that would take too long, but we start off and cover all the basic areas. So we start off theoretical. Who accesses the database? We basically look at the architecture, where is the data, who are all the major players, the actors that can connect to the database? So the people, the job processes, etc. We then look at asking interview questions, the things that we can't test technically. So backup, uh, disaster recovery, policy that might exist already, things that uh, can't be tested technically within the database. We then focus in detail on users, user security, password, Cracking, strength of passwords, designing strong passwords, password management, uh, users' privileges, privilege profiles, uh, all of the elements to get granular privileged access for users. We do this with demonstrations, uh, graphic sequences showing the process, the thought process that goes into this. Um, we then focus on operating system. So which parts of the operating system affect the security of the data? What do we need to do to audit and secure the database from the operating system. We then look at networking, the same thing, less to look at, um, a little bit more simpler than the OS because on the OS you can access the data. Uh, we also then delve in depth into the database. So we focus on two areas, hardening and actual data security. So picking out some examples, doing some uh, uh, extended examples, looking at how data may be accessed, all the different access paths and how all the different users can get to that data and how it should be secured. We then follow on and start to look at areas where we might want to look in a bit more detail. So things like looking at authentication mechanisms you've implemented in your applications, or protection of personally identifiable information, or protection of things like credit card information. And we also take a look at audit trail. Does it exist? What's in it? What can we glean from it? What can we understand? And we have a brief foray into forensics. And then we wrap up the class by looking at what we've covered in terms of doing a sample audit walkthrough. With part, as part of the sample audit walkthrough, we're looking at what are the solutions to the audit. What do we find? What can we do to fix this? So the, the obvious next step is to develop a security policy. And we talk about that in some depth. And we talk about compliance testing, automated compliance testing, 
and we finish up. That's a brief overview in about five minutes of the two day class. Um, if you want to attend this class, then the class uh, public dates are available on my website. Go down to the footer, click on the link public training dates and you'll see the current public classes that are available. Thanks for listening.